Hola amigos, Gardner Alley here. I'm outside in the park near my house. Even though we can't be together in the garden, we can still observe nature together. I'm standing around a lot of trees, and right now I'm going to choose one tree that I'm going to focus on. I'm going to come back to this tree every week, once a week, and do a drawing of the tree. I'm going to try to notice any changes that I see. So right now, I'll show you the tree, and then I'll show you how I do a drawing of it. I had to step back a lot because it's a really big tree. It's the big one right in front of me. And here you can see the top of the tree. I'm gonna get up closer so that I can notice some things about the tree. I see that the tree still has some leaves hanging on it, but they're all brown and they look dry and crumply. I also see that the tree has a really big trunk and the bark looks like it has a lot of texture to it. I'm gonna go up close and touch it. How do you think that would feel if you were touching it? It feels kind of rough and it has all these deep grooves in it. I wonder how old the tree is. I'm also wondering about what kind of tree this is and so I'm gonna look around on the ground for any hints. I see some of the leaves and then I also see a lot of these things. Do you know what this is? Here's some more. If you said an acorn, you're right. These are acorns from this tree. And so I know that acorns come from oak trees. So this is a big oak tree. So here's a little more of what it looks like on the ground around the base of the tree. I'm noticing this because as I keep coming back each week, I'm gonna pay attention to how the ground looks different. I'm also noticing this big branch that's on the ground near the base of the tree. I wonder if it came from the tree. Let's look up and see if we can tell. I don't see an obvious part where it broke off, but maybe on the right side. There's my shadow against the tree. Now I'm going to draw a picture of my tree. I'm using a piece of blank paper and some colored pencils like these. I'm mostly going to use brown because that's the color that I see the most. So first I'll start with drawing a big trunk. smaller branches that go off to the side. I don't know if I can even fit in the whole tree. some of all the little branches on the end. a few leaves 
too. Maybe I'll use a little bit of orange to show the leaves. There's not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna add the ground, which is mostly brown, but there's a little bit of green in there too. I'll use the blue to color in the sky. So that's what my tree looked like on the first day that I observed it. I can't wait to see what it looks like next week. Here's another view of my finished drawing of the oak tree. Thanks friends, I can't wait to see all of your trees. Bye for now.